welcome back to another video. This week, or for the next couple of days rather, I'm going to be swapping screen time for reading. I need to look at what my screen time has been. I'm really nervous to check because I feel like I've been on my phone a lot lately. The plan with this is to not fully stay off my phone for the next three days because that's just very unrealistic. That's not going to happen because I need to use my phone for things. But the whole point of this is just to keep me off of Instagram, keep me from scrolling on Instagram for hours and use that time to be more productive with reading so I don't get distracted and I don't waste so much of my time just being on my phone mindlessly. So I do plan to just still have my phone for when I need it. But what we're going to do, how we're going to do this is I'm going to look at how many hours I have in screen time and I'm going to be reading reading for that select amount of hours for the next three days. So first of all, let's look at what my screen time has been for this last week. It's saying that my screen time this week has been 44% down from last week. So last week was really bad, which I do remember, but this week it looks like my average has been three hours and 45 minutes, which isn't that bad, but let's look at last week. <laughs> oh, seven hours and eight minutes that is a freaking lot the week before that was six hours and 12 minutes so last week was really really bad look at i spent 10 and a half hours on instagram seven hours and 15 minutes on youtube okay four four and a half hours on scribd we're not going to count that because that's reading three how did i spend three hours on goodreads oh my gosh that's embarrassing. Okay, clearly, yeah, see, Instagram is the problem. This week, we're only on Monday, so we only have Sunday and Monday to count for this week, but still, three hours and 45 minutes is a lot for, for just two days. Two hours on Instagram in two days. Okay, so unfortunately, we are going to have to base it off of last week's average, which is seven hours and eight minutes. So the plan is to read for seven total hours in a day, for three days. That is how we're going to do this. Okay, give me this. Uh-uh. Drop it. Drop it. Thank you. You can't have the squeaky one while I'm filming. Okay, so I have this app called Focus Plant. And what you do is you can set a timer. When you hit focus, you can set a timer for a select amount of time and you earn points, which in this are basically raindrops to use on your plants to then help your plants grow. So the more you focus, the more your plants will grow. And so I love this app, it's really awesome. We're going to use this to help me focus. I'm not obviously going to do seven hours in one sitting. I will go crazy, but maybe we will do like an hour here, an hour there, two hours there, two hours here, you know what I mean? So it's already 2.20. If I were to start reading for seven hours straight, that'll take me to seven, or sorry, that will take me to 9.30 p.m. And I'm not going to be able to read for seven hours straight. So we're gonna see just how many hours I can get in today, but tomorrow, hopefully I can wake up early and start this a little bit earlier so I can get the full seven hours in. But yeah, so that's basically the plan. That's basically how I'm going to be doing this swapping screen time for reading. Benji's trying to get his squeaky toy. He's crawling over me to get his squeaky toy. It's too loud for when I'm filming. You want it though? Go get it. Go get it. Now he's not gonna go get it. That's how it's gonna work. That's the app that I'm using. Let's talk about the books that I'm wanting to make some progress in for this video. Okay, 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 no, 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 drop it. Drop it. Can't have that one. Just wait. You always do it while I'm filming. It's so rude. Okay, first of all, what I need to read is Apples Never Fall by Leanne Moriarty. If you didn't know, I do have a family book club. We're currently reading this. We are on our last portion of it. And like I said, today's Monday, so I have till Wednesday night to finish it, but I would love to just crank it out maybe today and finish it. So I'm currently on page 374 and I have just under 100 pages left. So this is one of my first priorities to get done. I'm also reading a Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass, and I'm just under the t the 100 page mark. I'm on 96, so I'm really hoping to make a lot of progress with this book in the next three days. Obviously, not finish it, but this is for a separate reading vlog that I'm doing. So yeah, I'm just hoping to get like to at least the 250 page mark maybe. I would love to get to like 315, which is like exactly halfway by Wednesday. 
so we will see but i do have that and then i also have another one i forgot to bring over a Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. And I'm reading this for Jan Agaton's Full Moon Book Club pick. And the live show is on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. my time. And I haven't started it yet. So I'm hoping to really read this as well so that I can get it done in time for her live show. Be able to, you know, be in on all the discussions and spoilers and stuff. This is definitely a priority as well. As you can see, I have lots of reading I need to get done. So we're just gonna get right on into it and I'm gonna make sure I have everything like all settled and like get my last couple things done around the house so that I can really focus on reading for a full hour. So what I'm gonna try and plan on doing. Yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. I'm really excited, but also not excited because sometimes I just, you know, wanna relax and be on my phone mindlessly, but the point of this video, the point of this vlog, and the point of the next three days is to not do that so much. But it will help that I'm not like fully giving up my phone for three days. That would be impossible. I need to also prioritize some work, like editing and stuff. So that's still screen time. But the point is to minimize pointless screen time scrolling on Instagram. So I'm using the seven hours that I spent doing that. Well, okay, hold on a second. Actually, it's not seven hours. We're not doing seven hours, especially since last week I had four and a half hours total on Scribd. So that's what the average is counting as as well. So let's go by day actually. Let me pull this back up because I'm not, I don't think seven hours is correct or accurate enough to do it that way. Okay, so yesterday, five hours, Saturday, eight hours, Friday, six hours and 40 four minutes does it show you an app like it just yeah here let's go let's check last week's average on instagram okay the average i had on instagram is an hour and a half and then youtube is an hour and two minutes so we can do two and a half hours i feel like i need more than that though what else um goodreads there's no reason i should be on goodreads for three hours in a week daily average is 26 minutes okay that's not that bad it always seems like it's worse than it is i don't know if you wanted to see what apps i use most here you go <laughs> that's them so basically we're gonna mostly use it off of instagram and youtube which is about two and a half hours i'm gonna bump that up a little just because i feel like that's not necessarily that much anymore I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's still, it depends, it depends on the person, but I feel like I normally read longer than that in a day. So we're gonna say three hours. Cause seven, yeah, seven was a lot. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe tomorrow and the next day, if I get a good start on the day, maybe it is doable, but I'm not gonna put that much pressure on myself. Again, the whole point is to just keep me off my phone as much as possible. We're gonna start with three hours for today, especially since it's already well into the afternoon. Let's get all situated and start our first reading session. And I'm going to set it for one hour. I am going to start with Apples Never Fall and see if I can finish it. It will be very interesting to see how much I will be able to read in these amount of hours that I'm paying attention to because normally I just read until I don't want to anymore so I don't necessarily know how long it has taken me to read a certain amount of pages so it will be interesting to see how long it will take me to finish the last 93-ish pages of this book. Let's go ahead and get started with the first hour of reading. Okay, so like I said with this app, Focus Plant, you can set it for the amount of time that you are wanting to focus on a certain activity, and then you just set your phone aside until the timer goes off. And if you pick up your phone and exit out of the app or open your phone onto something else while the timer is still running, you lose all the points that you were accumulating for that focus time. Let me just make sure I have answered to all of my text messages and everything else so that nobody is wondering where I went. Even though it's only an hour, I don't wanna leave people hanging like that. Okay, so it's currently 2.32 and I'm setting the timer for an hour. So I will not be able to put, well now it's 2.33. I will not be able to pick my phone back up again until 3.33. Let's begin. hour 
hour is up so now it is 3 35 i read a total of 59 pages so just about a page a minute now i'm gonna make a cup of coffee because it sounds really good I'm very very close to finishing i will definitely be starting the timer again soon to finish it but let's make some coffee now i got a cute new mug from target today look at how adorable so cute i'm gonna wash this and then use this one for some coffee finished apples never fall i did another little reading sprint i guess you could call it for 30 minutes and ended up being able to finish this so it took me an hour and a half just about i guess i will talk about it a little bit since i haven't really talked about it on my channel that much like with the plot of it is and all of that and obviously give you my rating and review and stuff so i've been reading this book since like forever since september the middle of september or something because it's my family book club pick and so we've been reading this for several weeks just because it is thick it is long it is a huge commitment because the pages are really kind of dense and stuff too and so it's about 400 pages but we read about 100 pages a week you know give or take yeah i've been reading it for a very long time i will say that the beginning was very very strong i was really hooked and interested right away i loved the prologue of this i thought it was excellent but it just slowly 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 let me down like it just kept letting me down so slowly just because we were reading it so slowly but also it's very slow paced on top of reading it slow it was just really hard to keep being excited about this story basically what this is about it's a contemporary fiction i guess is what you would call it about a family who is obsessed with tennis okay you follow the parents who are like in their 60s and then their four adult children and basically their whole lives and just like the story behind them who they are as a family lots of family drama very dysfunctional family anyway so they're all obsessed with tennis like they're all professional tennis stars and they're famous because of their tennis like academy that the parents own they own like a tennis company or whatever there's just lots of drama with everyone all the kids anyway so the big plot of the story is that the mother goes missing on valentine's day for like three weeks they all think that the husband is guilty well like some of the kids think that their father killed their mother some of the kids don't there's this whole investigation and lots of povs lots of time jumps so you're following multiple timelines multiple perspectives there's just lots of characters lots of things to keep up with interesting but also hard to keep track of because of that like if you're not into tennis like if you could care less about tennis i would maybe steer clear of this book and if you don't love disappointing endings I would steer clear. I think the ending was very very disappointing Lots of times throughout this book I thought the plot was gonna go a, a certain way, but it just didn't like it It was very anticlimactic. The ending just sucked. I was like, what was the point of that? It's not my favorite Also, there's this suspicious girl who shows up at the doorstep of parents There's her thrown into this story who like seems suspicious as well because they don't know where she came from you know you could tell that right off the bat she's she's sketchy you know who weaves her way into the family everyone is just trying to figure out what happened to the mom yeah i don't know that's really all i have to say about it so the little blurb on the inside says the delaney family love one another dearly it's just that sometimes they want to murder one another very dysfunctional family dramatic but also anticlimactic with the plot but i did love her writing i will definitely pick up another book by her and there was also really good humor in this as well very dense and heavy writing because it's just so detailed like it's there's a lot of writing in here but it was good i think i'm giving it a 2.75 out of five stars uh, because the humor was good too and i yeah i did like the writing just didn't love the plot there's also mentions of like eating disorders and divorce abuse and there is mentions of covid too so i would just look those up and see if that's something you want to read about just you know do your research before you pick it up because i will say it is a huge commitment <laughs> 
I've been reading that book for so long. Even if you do read it within like a week or you know shorter than I did, it will still feel like a huge commitment to read that whole book. So yeah, I'm glad to have finally finished it to mark that off of my Goodreads currently reading because it's been there forever. But now I'm going to read some more of this. Probably set another hour timer. Read as much of this as I can. I am enjoying this, having a fun time annotating. Can't wait to see where the story goes, what all this hype is about, but I won't be giving many thoughts on this. I am filming me reading this book for another vlog, so stay tuned for that one when it comes out, but like I said, I'm also not finishing it for this vlog. But yeah, I'm gonna just read as much of this as I can right now, but I also need to pick up a lesson in vengeance, so. We'll see. We'll see where my stopping point will be for this. But then I'm hoping to get to like page 100 of Lesson in Vengeance. All right, we're gonna get to it. <laughs> um, it's now just past 6.30 p.m. So I did make dinner and take my dog out, you know, all that kind of stuff. What else did I do? Oh, I did like dishes. I, I cleaned up a little bit. So I promise you I was not sitting on my phone for the past couple hours. I was doing things around the house. I'm ready to sit down and read again for a long while. I have like the rest of the night now. I think I might get in some comfy clothes. Cozy up. I think, I, yeah, that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm just gonna put some sweats on because I still have jeans. But then we'll be ready to read. I wanted to show you my sweats. I got these from TJ Maxx the other day and they are so comfy they're like a velvet like a velvet material and i love them so much they're so cozy <laughs> I set this timer for two hours. Yep, so I can't, I've ha not been on my phone and I've just been reading for an hour and 45 minutes and then I have just over 13 minutes left. Okay. I wanna use my phone! <laughs> so close, go away, don't distract me anymore. I gotta read more pages. I'm getting really antsy. My back's hurting. I want to close this book. I just want to scroll through Instagram. <laughs> incredibly long two hours <laughs> oh, so hi I haven't done a talking clip since yesterday but as you just saw I focused for two hours and I obviously did not read constantly for those two hours I did get up and like get a snack go to the bathroom I had to take my dog outside for potty talk to my husband here and there but I wasn't able to open my phone at all because of the timer. For the majority of that, I was reading a lot. As you saw, I started on page 144 and read kind of slowly considering that was two hours, but I did read this much, got up to page 222. So that is just about um, 78 pages, I think, if my math is correct. 
correct because 100 would be 244 minus 22 yeah 78 i believe i read 78 pages i have recently discovered that i am not the fastest reader especially with this one like you would think i would read more because the pages aren't that long but i have recently discovered i'm not the fastest reader when janelle and i are on facetime doing reading parties and such she reads way faster than i do like i'm i'm a slow reader compared to her but i'm glad that i have made some more progress with a lesson in vengeance so let me update you on what happened yesterday i ended up reading for a total of three hours yesterday split up into like hour and half hour chunks but i did finish apples never fall and then i got up to page 157 of aquamath so that was about 50 pages there i think and then i got to page 50 of a lesson in vengeance yesterday before going to sleep it's upside down there we go so i read a total of about 200 pages yesterday and then today i've read almost another 200 already and I've been reading for four hours total today. <sighs> so I was definitely getting very antsy during that last 20 minutes of my two hour timer. Before that this morning, I read for like an hour and then took a break and then read for another hour. And then I read for the two hours. So that's a total of four hours already today and it's only 5.30. But I have been sitting on this couch pretty much all day. I'm basically still in my pajamas. My back is killing me. <laughs> I would say I'm being very very productive with my reading i'm obviously going to take a little bit of a break right now and my husband's going to be off work soon so we're gonna go make dinner i'm gonna check my mail yeah just like chill out for a little bit before i start reading again but i'm over halfway now in this there's 150 pages left that's exciting i wanted to finish this by tomorrow night that will easily be doable now that i made such good progress today um and then yeah hopefully get farther into akamaf read maybe another 150 pages of that as well but yeah i've definitely been wanting to just pick up my phone and be on instagram for hours at a time trying to push through with that and not not give in um i guess i could talk about this a little bit i'm i'm enjoying it it's going well but it's nothing amazing it's not great this is pretty i want to show you this if you didn't know this is about an all girls school and there's witches involved there has not been a single male character in this book yet i don't think there is going to be because i think i heard someone say that that it's like all girls yeah i don't know it's just supposed to be very female centered there are witches involved and if you couldn't tell this i didn't even know this my husband was the one who told me that this is one of those things from the ouija board i didn't know that but i totally see it now i just didn't think of it like that but after he told me that then i got to a scene with the ouija board and i was like oh all right makes sense all of these seances and stuff definitely still like enjoyable and entertaining but i haven't fallen in love with it and i don't really get the plot like i'm not really that interested in the plot you know it's okay it's not bad it's basically about this girl who goes back to school so it's very dark academia if you're into that so she comes back for her senior year at school after her girlfriend died it was a tragic death she blames herself for and so in the beginning of the book you're really trying to figure out what happened and why like how this girl died and why felicity the main character is struggling with it so much because you know she believes it's her fault or whatever then she feels like she's being haunted by her girlfriend and the spirits of five previous students from the school girls that were rumored to be witches they all died mysteriously one after another it's just about witchcraft trying to uncover the mystery of the death of these girls that died like hundreds of years ago but then also connecting that to the death of her girlfriend this new group of girls are trying to reenact these deaths see if they can summon some answers <laughs> i guess but the end of the synopsis says when history begins to repeat itself felicity will have to face the darkness in dalloway and in herself it's not the greatest thing i've ever read but i'm not hating it the writing 
was a little bit confusing in the very beginning. I was like, where is this going? What are we talking about? And then I got more into it, but the writing I'll, I'll still say is not the best. Anyways, okay, so that's the update on that. I will talk to you guys in a little bit once I start reading again. and it's already almost 3 p.m. and I haven't read a single thing yet today because I've been out and about doing some fun things with my grandma who came down for the day and we had lunch and just like did some shopping and stuff like that so it was a really fun time but I haven't read anything yet or gotten any like work done in general so I really need to finish this book like I said it's almost 3 p.m. so I need to finish this in the next four hours in time for the live show that's what I'm gonna be doing now that I'm home and settled down but I also need to edit my thrillathon vlog because everybody's posting theirs already and mine's not done yet <laughs> so I need to get that done later tonight as well hopefully first of all I need to finish this book so we are going to put the phone away and have zero distractions so that I can finish this book oh before that though let me show you a cute little stationery haul that i got while i was out with my grandma and mom and little brother so we went into home goods and i wanted to look at their planners and stuff for like the new year and everything i do have my reading journal that i'm going to be using if you follow me on instagram i posted about that a little while ago on my stories but i have that ready for like tracking my reading for next year but i wanted to get regular journals or regular planners and stuff to plan out my reading so i know it kind of sounds like the same thing but trust me it's different <laughs> Plus, my grandma wanted to buy me a couple of things for my birthday since she didn't see me on my birthday. So she wanted to take me out shopping and get me a couple things. Cute things from Home Goods were such a great deal. She got me all sorts of things. So first of all, let me show you this. Just a basic 2021 through 2022 planner. Just a typical planner type thing with the tabs but i will be able to still use it right away because it's got october yeah this is just a little bit of like the layout and then it's got weekly and stuff but it's got some really cute like pages for each month like dividers cute little designs and stuff so really really cute it was ten dollars at home goods so i wanted to get that and then i also got this little mouse pad notepad thing with the plants obviously that is my thing so this is just like a weekly list that you can have out on your desk to get just like a quick overview and um you know there's multiple pages there's 50 sheets in here so you can just kind of use it throughout the week and then tear it off then i got oh and so then this was 3.99 and then i got this cute one with all the plants on it again totally my thing love it wait until you see the next one too but this one is just a notepad so this can be used for anything and this one was 4.99 i just love these plants like this is so cute then look at this one this cute little snake plant in a pink pot literally perfect and it's a planner so it's just like yeah it's like in the shape of the plant and i love it it's so 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 cute this one was 450 so it's also a planner so i have this one and then i have the big black one that has the tabs so this one doesn't have tabs but i can use it for this one for something and then that one for another thing you know gotta have all the planners gotta get all sorts of organized i just could not pass up on this one because it's so stinking cute and then the other one is more practical easier to be a little bit more organized with this one i think so yeah, so I got all of that from Home Goods. Super, super happy about it. I love it. Okay, but wait, literally, I didn't even show you this. Okay, so this was the planner, right? Look. Literally the real deal. It's too bright, you can't see. Look, it was made for me. <laughs> Freaking love it. Hello. So, I just finished A Lesson in Vengeance. I finished this 
like about 10 minutes ago. It's 6.17 now. So it was about three hours that it took me to finish this, but I'm really glad that I finished it in time for the live show, which is at seven. So yeah, I'm very glad that I prioritized reading this and getting it done. I feel very, very productive the last three days swapping my screen time for reading. I read like over 500 pages in three days. So that is super awesome and definitely something that I will have to do more in the future when I need to get lots of books read. I swear, Benji, you do it every time. So yeah, I would highly recommend this Focus Plant app if you are wanting to limit your screen time and really focus on some reading or work or productivity or whatever you need to get done. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me really quickly talk about this book. I'm kind of waiting till the live show to like really gather all my thoughts and before I give it a, a final rating. But at this point, I'm gonna say it's a three star. It's really down the middle for me. Definitely not something I like fell in love with, but it was enjoyable. So a three star I think is where I'm gonna be at but I'm interested to see everyone's thoughts to hear everyone's thoughts on the live show on Jan's channel in a little bit oh hi Benji you trying to find your toy that I hid but yeah so it's pretty good it was just nothing that I would reread I don't know you know it's just like very very average but I would recommend it to you if you like witch stories dark academia I will say the plot twists at the end were pretty good I think the ending and resolution of everything happened very very fast it almost was like too easy I feel like I don't know like I said it was good and it was enjoyable. That's really it. That's all I have to say about it. So I think that's it. I don't think I have to tell you anything else. This was the only book that I finished because, well, I finished Apples Never Fall, but I already talked about that and it was just like the last hundred pages. But this was the only like full book that I read for this vlog. And then I did read some of Akamath. And I'll probably read some of that later tonight, but I'm going to end the vlog now just because I'm not giving thoughts on that book. Yeah, that's going to be it for this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you are going to try and swap your screen time for reading time. I highly recommend it. It's an excellent way to make sure you stay on task and be productive. I mean, we all know how much we spend on our phone, but when you actually lay it out and see how many hours you're wasting on your phone when you could be reading or doing something else productive, it's insane. So yeah, highly recommend trying this out and maybe I will do it again time in the future for another video but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're all doing well and i will see you in another video very soon bye